Welcome at NWC here in Barcelona. And we're here with Jan Carson. Jan, maybe you can give a short introduction about yourself. Absolutely. So I'm heading up business area digital services in Ericsson. Happy to be here. Yeah, and thanks for inviting me at a beautiful booth. And a lot of things are going to happen in the coming years. And especially in the domain of digital transformation, digital transformation for telecom service providers, but also all the companies that are working together with these telecom service providers. What's your view on this? And what are we going to experience over here in the coming days? I think the, um, the pace of change is just accelerating. We think it's been moving really fast behind us, but it's just accelerating. And what you require is an agility, a capability to capitalize on this technology shift. Uh, so across the board at this event, I think we, we are seeing things that um, yeah, we couldn't even imagine five, six years ago how this piece of technology could be capitalized to monetize uh, a new service, to launch a new service. And what's the real driver behind this speed up now? Competition. Uh, competition comes from across the board, from different ecosystems, from your peers, from new entrants. The, the, yeah, the intensity of competition, competitive pressure is, is just increasing. And what's the core that companies have to work, and especially telecom service providers, what do they have to work and take care for the coming year? The customers for sure, but also agility. Be much faster in launching new services. Be much better at taking care of customers. Um, and be cheaper, of course. You know, to offer these services at a, a lower cost compared to what they did before and compared to the competition. And what is a great announcement that you can already tell us? So we have, uh, we have Revenue Manager, our digital BSS. Uh, it's a one of six flagship products which we're launching here in digital services. And it's, uh, it's like nothing else on the market. It's, it's uh, capitalizing on, on new technology, including open source, including a, a database called Cassandra, an open source database. Uh, everything is real time, whereas before a system was a mix of batch and, and real time. This is 100% real time. Uh, it's fully integrated. So before you had to take that piece and that piece and that piece and put them together. This comes pre-integrated. It's based on end-to-end -end customer journeys. So before it was, okay, I plug these two products together. This goes end-to-end -end from a customer journey point of view. Um, it has, uh, it's omni-channel. So it has a, a thin omni-channel layer, catalog centric. Everything that you dreamed about a few years ago is what we have, uh, what we're launching in this, uh, at this event. Sure. So it's, uh, and you can say all this technology, you know, that's interesting, but what does it really do? Well, it, it does, I, I highlight three things. One is it lowers cost. It does things much cheaper compared to, you know, from a TCO point of view, compared to alternatives. It allows you to launch new services much faster compared to other systems. And third, it allows you to monetize new business models, completely new business models, partner onboarding, uh, 5G IoT cases. Um, so that's what operators should be looking out for, technologies which allow them to monetize on new business models and technologies. So in summary, tune in the coming days, visit the booth at Ericsson or tune in via Twitter, LinkedIn or any social channel to hear what's really going on in the world, in the digital world basically. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.